Good morning guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel and today I am doing my Tokyo morning routine. So first things first, I make my bed as soon as I get up just so I feel like I've accomplished something first thing in the morning. I actually stayed in an Airbnb apartment while I was in Tokyo and it gives you so much freedom. I love, love, loved it. It also meant that I could make a lot of my meals at home. So I would usually make my breakfast at the apartment every day just because it's cheap and delicious. my breakfast I don't really drink coffee or tea when I'm traveling but I would normally have a glass of hot lemon water just to kickstart the metabolism and if you struggle to drink water every day some flavored lemon water is a great way to get one of your glasses of eight in for my breakfast I'd usually have avocado toast just because avocados in Japan are so freaking cheap compared to Australia I think these were only like a dollar compared to Australia where they're like five. So, win-win. And then just for a little bit of zing, normally I would chop up a couple of cherry tomatoes and then chuck those on top as well. I felt like it this day I decided to put on some mozzarella okay a lot of mozzarella <laughs> While I would have my breakfast, I would normally watch YouTube videos. This is actually Mr. Ken Dennis's vlog from we caught up in Tokyo. Oh, good memories. So on to my skincare and makeup routine. First thing, I'm gonna tie my hair back just so it's out of the way. All my friends think this headband makes me look like a dag, but I kind of love it. Brush those teeth, girl. So for my skincare, first I'm gonna go in with the Bifesta Micellar Water. I bought this while I was in Japan. I don't usually use a cleanser in the morning, but I do use a micellar water just to get rid of any gunk from the night before. For my moisturizer, I actually ran out of mine while I was on the trip, so this is just the moisturizing milk from Muji. Onto the makeup, first I'm going to go in with the NYX Studio Perfect Primer. This is a silicone based primer and it just fills in your pores and makes your skin look super smooth. For my foundation, I'm going to use the Rimmel London Lasting Finish Foundation. Just one pump. I think this is my second or third bottle. I love it so much. And I just dot that all over my face and then I blend it in with my fingers. For my concealer, I'm going to go in with the Rimmel London Wake Me Up Concealer. This is just a brightening concealer which I apply under my eyes with my beauty blender just to brighten that area up. For my coverage concealer, I'm going to go on with this one from Lancome. The coverage of this guy is insane. I mean, check that out. I just apply this anywhere where I need a little extra cover. For my powder, I'm going to go on with the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder just on my T-zone and under my eyes to set that concealer. I don't really want a fully matte base because I'm going to go on with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder after that. This stuff is super glowy. It gives your skin a really, really healthy look and I just apply this everywhere. Next, I'm gonna go with the Astralis Banana Powder just underneath my eyes, just to brighten that area up a little bit more. For my bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Hamptons Weekend Palette and just use the bronzer in there underneath my cheekbones, along my forehead, and then just along my jawline, just to give myself a little bit of a contour, not too much. For my highlighter, I'm just using the highlighter that's in that same palette along my cheekbones, under my brow bone and then along the bridge of my nose just for a little something something. Then I'm going to set all of that with the NYX Matte Finishing Setting Spray. And then to dry that, I'm a little extra, I like to use a fan. 
on my brows, I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Precise Eyebrow Pencil. This guy is so tiny because I've pretty much used it to death. I just like to draw in little strokes to mimic the natural brow hairs. And then I just blend it out with the spoolie on the other end. For eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with this Style London palette with this shimmery bronze colour. And I just apply that with my fingertips because I'm low maintenance. <laughs> Then I'm going to go in with the gold shade and pop that into the inner corners of my eyes just for a little something different. For my eyeliner, I'm going to use the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This is just the one in dark brown, just to give myself a, a little bit of a wing. And then because I've got eyelash extensions, I'm just going to use a spoolie brush just to brush those guys out. For my lips, I'm going to use the Powder Puff Lippy in the shade Cool Intentions. I bought this while I was here in Tokyo and it is such a pretty colour. I love it. And that's it for the makeup onto the outfit. So on this particular day I was actually heading out for a shopping day in Harajuku. If you guys haven't seen the vlog I will link it in the card above. For my outfit I'm just wearing this t-shirt from Wego. I bought this while I was here in Tokyo and then these red paper bag pants from Dotty. Super comfortable, very cash. And that's it for my morning routine guys. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I get ready in the morning while I'm in Tokyo. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye.